I'm so low, don't low tonight, baby. I'm, I got the device, baby. I'm sorry about that, Akili. I want to shout out to my nephew, Akili, for holding it down. And doing such a great job this weekend DJing, man. Yes. Yes. My nephew held it down at the family get together reunion type thing. You know what I'm saying, Akili? Akili, give it up for yourself, baby. Give it up. <laughs> I was proud of him. I kind of teared up a little bit, man. What's up, Ty? Y'all might have to call in and holler at your boy today. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm by myself today. It's always going to be real short. About 20 minutes. <laughs> so y'all call in and shout out, man. I want to know how everybody weekend was because mine was fantabulous this lotions. You know what I'm saying? We had food at the little family reunion thing. Uh, we was dancing. We had a magic show, ponies. We had water rides, water slides, everything. What's up, Trey? Everything, man. We had, it was nice. And matter of fact, we planning the next one. So that one gonna be off the chain. I'm looking forward to that. What's up, Zach? What up, baby? Holding it down. P.O.B. Holding it down. But yeah, man, we had a good little family function. What's up, Ayam? I see you out there, baby girl, where you was last night. <laughs> that was a little talk. <laughs> where were you last night? Oh, man. But, uh, yeah, family, we had, we had a ball. Matter of fact, you can go to my Facebook page and look at some of the footage. Love my family, man. Love y'all, see? But uh, yeah, we're playing the next one. And uh, <laughs> yeah, Lil went off on her mama. I, I, I talked to her about that. Look, don't, 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 don't put it out there like that, Lil. She's like, okay, I'm gonna slide this. But how was y'all weekend? Y'all let me know, did it? Matter of fact, the Essence Festival was this weekend. Did anybody go to the Essence Festival? I, there we go. There we go. I don't know why I keep jumping back and forth. It might have something to do with the eyes, mom. But, uh, what's up, Dre? Uh, I want to know if anybody went to the Essence Festival. Let me have a pen, Akili. If you, if you can't just throw me one. I thought I had one over here. There you go. Uh, look at that. See, that's quite good. Anybody went to the Essence Festival? Because I will not miss it next year. Okay? I will not miss the Tom Jordan Cruise. The last one. And I will not miss the Essence Festival. Because I was supposed to go on that Tom Jordan Cruise this year. Tired. You wanna jump on one of the cruises? Let your boy know, man. Let your boy know. Zach, get ready for one of them cruises, baby. Derail. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you live out there on that water, baby, key. Get ready for one of them cruises, baby. Yeah, matter of fact, I gotta. We got a cruise going this year, next year, 2019. It's still going down. Y'all can inbox me the information. Yes, I'm going to the Essence next year. Yes. Yep, I heard it was good too. I want to go and I don't want to miss no more. So, got to make that happen. When there? We're going to make that happen, baby. <laughs> yes. But yeah, man. We gotta start going all this stuff. It's just time out for all this working all the time, working all the time. Time to catch some of these events. Everybody else catch them while we can't catch them. Matter of fact, I can go live from one of the events, baby. I can go live. This talk up live from the Essence Festival, baby, right here on uh, Canal Street. <laughs> hey, Kayla. You wanna go? I want to go. You can go. Uh, yeah, man. We're going to try to get a big party and go. 
Because that's the, that's the only way to do it. Get them groups. Everybody can get about three, four rooms. Sleep up in there. Do it big if you want. Get your own room if you want. If you don't want to hang with all them people, you don't have to hang with all them people. But whatever you do, we're going to have fun, fun, fun. Especially, especially hanging with Silky Black, 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 Black. Ain't that right, Akil? Yeah, he said yes. Yes. But yeah, man, I had a real good weekend. I'm going to have a big, big weekend next weekend also. Hey, Nina. Uh, gonna have a big weekend next weekend. Matter of fact, I'm doing a... We're DJing at a... My cousin is doing a walk. And uh, I'm DJing for that. So, I actually, I, got, I think I got to get my shirt from him. So, I'm going to have to order my shirt if I'm going to be out there. It's gonna be, I know this is gonna be nice. I'm gonna make it live, fun. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, we get into everything, man. So let me know. Hit me up tonight, too. Call me and let me know if y'all went to the Essence Festival. The number up to 713-714-7670. And look at that, I, I put it right this time. I put it right. But the song at the beginning of the show was Crazy Love by Silky Black. You can find it only right here in my phone. <laughs> no, nah, I can get it to you if you want it. You want it. I don't know. But uh, yeah, we got the Essence Festival. Let me know if y'all went. I want to know. They, had, they said Queen Latifah turned it out. <laughs> but I think uh, didn't... Uh, who else was out there? I don't know. I don't know. Y'all call me. Let me let me know who else was out there. Because uh, I know every year they have some super acts. We went one year. I think it was two years ago. And uh, had Usher. Missy Elliott. Uh, Jasmine Sullivan came out there. Erica Badu. And the tickets was like 60, 70 bucks. I mean, we wasn't... We got them at the last minute. We didn't even know about the concerts and stuff. I mean, we didn't know that who was actually going to be there. Well, I didn't. And uh, they they did that concert. It was nice. Real nice. It was probably about eight, 18 rows back. Not that far away. But, um, yeah, man. I want to take a group down there. Do it big and show them what Houston hurt. Show them what Houston is made of, baby. <clears throat> By the way of venting Louisiana. Oh, throw it up, throw it up. I can't see ya. What else? I don't got I don't got that many stories tonight, so call your boy man. Just talk on this. Say what's up? What's up, man? Uh what else I got? Let me see. Anybody any any power fans out there? How power going for y'all? I don't, want to, I don't want to talk about it and spill the beans for everybody because I know everybody probably ain't on it. What's is, what is that? Is that a walk? I don't know what that is. Somebody just inboxed me a, a walk or something. Click on it. See what it is. I can't do it. I don't know when that walk is. Let me see when it is. And then uh, I see if I can. Uh... Oh, that's in August. Oh, at McGregor Park. Now you want me to DJ that one? I'll probably be going, but you can get my nephew to do it. You do it, Akil? Yeah. Inbox me. Hit me up. My nephew uh, will come out there and bless y'all with his skills. You know what I'm saying? Get y'all going. What's up, Jeremiah? Man, I ain't seen you this weekend. We'll show looking for you. Me, Wendell, all of them. What'd you say about Luke Cage, Jack? But yeah. Um, the Power Fans, 
Y'all want to call and talk about it? Because uh, I don't want to spill the beans for everybody. You know what I'm saying? All these power fans out here. I'm not a really big power fan. I'm trying to get into it. I got a long ways to go. And uh, so I've been hearing a lot of stuff. I've been looking at it a little bit. But I just, I just can't, can't get into it. Me neither. I don't know about power. What's up, Kiki? My kid had a Let me tell y'all about my kid. At the family thing, we was doing like an old school versus new school dance off. So the little kids, they was getting us with the little little mini wire. And, and, and they was yeet, yeet, shoo, shoo, whatever, whatever, all this. Shoo. My kid killed them. She, this girl did the centipede. I said, no. I said, ah, she did it like eight times. I said, she killed them. See, them young kids didn't know what to do when she when they seen that. I was like, yes. We went, oh, it's going to win every time, man. We got way more dancers than them young kids. Right, Akili? Look, my nephew, you don't like that. You don't like that. <laughs> That's right, my kid. That girl killed him. You won it. You won it, baby girl. You took the show. You took the show, baby girl. But, uh, yeah, man. All the power fans, uh, call in, give a shout out to to you, to who want, who, who y'all want to be going off the show. Because, uh, they say Tariq Trippin'. They say Tariq tripping, ain't that's all I'm gonna say about that. Now, if y'all wanna talk about it, you can, but I ain't finna spoil it. Y'all never set me out. Y'all never block me out, baby. That's right, my kid is the champ. I probably couldn't centipede at all if I tried. My ankles and knees are not made for that no more. So I won't be ever attempting. I tried to grab my leg and jump over like kid and play. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, Marquita. What you talking about? Tariq need to die? Woo. That's a little harsh, man. What? Y'all killing people on these shows now? Oh, man. Come on. Somebody got to come. Somebody got I, I know they got a Tariq fan out there. Ain't no Tariq fan. No? Lord have mercy. I ain't, I ain't gonna talk about Y'all ain't gonna get me this. Anyway, man, I don't got much tonight. I'm uh, thought y'all was gonna be calling in. I guess not. She said it's time for his contract to be up. <laughs> Why, he got another job somewhere? He got a big movie coming up? Probably so, if they gonna kill him. But if not, he gonna be running y'all breakfast. Every show. Everybody gonna get like that Tyree. That Tyree. He might be a big he might be a big part of the show. And y'all want him to die die off. Huh. He needs to find him at the movies and get off power. Oh. Okay, that's what you think. Somebody might not agree with you. Who don't agree with her? Call up here, 713-714-7670. Oh, he needs to find another movie. <laughs> you getting that money, I'll probably get that power cash. But Essence Festivals this weekend, they doing a lot of, uh, oh, my kid said that she, uh, Talk text him, please forgive me. You driving? Better uh, put that phone down. I'll talk to you later. Put that phone down. You know you, you know you're on that 290. You on that train? That traffic? Going to Prairie View? A and M. But uh, Essence Festival was this weekend. I won't miss another one. Matter of fact, they had a protest. Peaceful protest in Chicago. Check this out. 
They had a peaceful protest in Chicago on Interstate 94, led by Reverend Michael, what is this? Uh, Fledger? Fledger or whatever like that? Uh, 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 a priest, a Catholic priest, Eddie Johnson, a cop, and Jesse Jackson. Now these are the guys that's leading a peaceful protest a cop, a priest, and a so-called preacher, reverend, or whatever he, whatever he is. Have anybody ever been to Reverend Jesse Jackson's church or ever heard a sermon from him? Why is he a reverend? Is that like a uh, something? If you go to school, you they just put that behind your name or something in front of your name. But anyway. These guys are leading the peaceful protest. And uh, so they was blocking, <clears throat> they blocking the highway. It was going up the highway. Supposedly they had authorization to do this. But along the way, it started getting out of hand. So here come, of course, here come the other cops. Y'all being peaceful. We gonna start. Uh, we gonna start pepper spraying people, tasing people, and taking people to jail if y'all don't get out. Now the thing only lasts maybe a mile, a mile down the road, probably like maybe 30 minutes, however long a mile takes for a group of people to walk. But they got authorization to do this, and they about to get arrested for being peaceful, and they protesting. They protesting guns. It's a lot of violence going on in Chicago, if y'all don't know. A lot of kids getting shot. Hey, Alicia. Uh, a lot of a lot of kids getting shot. People with illegal guns and shooting up everything. So they did a protest about the guns, and they was about to get arrested. Now, these were a group of black folks, and I'm not gonna say I hate them. It's just, uh, stop it. What is that? We got a call in, y'all. Yeah. Hey, what's going on, young man? I don't know who this is, but this is Silky Black, and you live on Talk Up. What's going on? How you doing? Man, this is Zach. What's up, man? Oh, what's up, Zach? Let me see the phone. Man, you know, we just got to call, bro, man. I apologize, I couldn't give you that. He just had something to take care of with the man. Oh, no problem, man. No problem. Hey, but listen, you, you're talking about uh, the, the, the protest that, that, that they had over the weekend. You say it was peaceful, and then one day, and uh, they tried to control the attack. Right, right. It was uh, it was only like a mile away. And okay. It was only like a mile away. So the people, you know, there was a lot of people showed up. So the cops start threatening, threatening everybody. We about to start taking people to jail if y'all don't get oh, out the okay. road, you know. It was about to get ugly real quick. And uh, so they shut them down for doing a peaceful protest. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's kind of the same situation where everybody all organized as long as y'all don't get out of hand. Right, and, they, and they, they, good. right, and they wasn't even out of hand. That's what I was reading. They wasn't even out of hand. They was just getting threatened by the police, but yet still they was led by a policeman. Well, you think Reggie Jackson was the one leading? Jesse Jackson. Reggie Jesse Jackson, the one who walked with Martin Luther King. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jesse Jackson, somewhere, man. Yeah, go sit down somewhere. Go do something. And, and here's my problem. The, 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 the leaders that's supposed to be the leaders, they only get on TV when it's like some kind of publicity or something. You might have like, started from the end. To me, they should have had to lead the protest because at least she ain't scared to say what's, what's really on her mind. Right. Right. Yeah, so, but I mean, I, I just, uh, I didn't hear about that one, but I mean, when you had I don't know 
what your thoughts on it is, but it's like the same old leader. Like, we don't have civil rights issues like then. Like, we got different types of, you know, police brutality, uh, you know, being mistreated by different people. And they, they, they got to come on, man, with something else. Yeah, it's the same thing. We always doing peaceful protests, and yeah. it, it's always some type of oh y'all going to jail. But you see people win, like uh, like the Super Bowl, the, the Falcons. I mean, uh, who, who's that? The Falcons won the Super Bowl, and they tore up the whole city. Nobody, right. two people went to jail. It was like half a million people out there. No. Race issue, and you got like black people. That's when it's an issue when they they try to say, all right, we need to not get out of line. But when it's like they had them uh, the pre parties and the the, the clan rallies, I mean, they 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 get obnoxious and everything, but they still maintain the order. Yeah, we do it peacefully, and we see them. You know, the possible under attack. So I don't know, man. I was I I don't wanna know who the new leader of, of our generation, black because I mean I don't see them. Yeah, well, they don't have them. Don't seem like I know, not no I'm not talking about the ones that, you know, that really put their reputation in it. Me be not for the people. Huh. Yep. They're gone. The Malcolm X and all them, Martin Luther King, them, them, them gone. Now, everybody's trying to get paid. It seems like if you a leader, you don't want to throw it up, it's in that page. Right. Oh, they getting them chicks. I don't know. Man, I just had one comment on that, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, they, 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 they getting them chicks when they show up to them rallies and stuff and, and have, have your people. And that's what they tell them, have your people in line. So we if you don't, we'll take care of them. And they say, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I got, you know, I got my chicks. I was telling you about that Trayvon Martin march that we did, we set down 288. Oh, that was orchestrated. Oh, yeah. When, when the mall truck in, uh, in River Oaks said, it, they, the police knew they was coming. They knew the time was gonna be over with two. It's, it's kind of like that, oh, we gonna let them have this. But really, we control it. Right, right. And see, that don't change. There's no change after that. Yeah. Because this stuff, what that was. Because what happened after that? What happened? What happened after? What happened after the march? They're calling it something different now. What happened after that march? Nothing. Exactly. You know what? We were fired up for about three days, and then back to what it was before. Back, back to hanging on the corner. <laughs> Guess what happened here? That happened all over the country because they knew that black folks get mad, but they won't stay mad. When you watch TV and you see like those other countries, old thorn countries, you know they go as far as the president's house. They, I'm talking about revolution. Yeah, they make it comes to like the things that we say that we care about. We care about them so long as they don't inconvenience. Right. We care about them so long as we don't lose our job at all. We care about. Is, you know, we don't get no, I think, for, uh, we get any flat from it, but if it's on cost of some being uncomfortableness, oh, oh yeah. man, you, you gonna lose your job? Oh, man. You you know, you gonna lose your reputation, might get tarnished a little bit. Right, even when, walk away. Even when they, they did that. Don't, don't hit you, you make it some money. And, and, and that goes to what you were saying about those, those, uh, like, man, those athletes got more power. I think they know they got it. I just don't think they want to challenge the system because what's happening is they they make it. They, they made it. Right. I ain't saying nobody that worked that hard to just throw it away. But the system and that system is basically kind of like, not like, boom, well, yeah, kind of like me too, where the press on a certain group of people. People gotta rise up. Yeah, it was like that uh, when them teachers went on strike. <clears throat> them teachers went on strike and uh, they did it for the longest and, and they came, uh, the authorities or whoever was over them came out and be like, 
they was like, uh, if y'all don't go back to work, all y'all fired. And so they was like, well, you yeah, have a job. And so they were, they were, everybody went back to work instead of uh, instead of standing strong and protesting. What what you if I if I don't go back to work, you don't have a job either. So, so, I don't know. Maybe white people. I don't know. Which job? When, when people can stop being scared and they can start realizing that you know what, they don't even need to interfere. It's enough money in the league that if they want to create their own. League, like you doing with the, the big three. Mm-hmm. And then you cut out, you can't, okay, you making millions, but you making these people, you with billions. Right. So I'm just saying, you can they create the whole infrastructure. You talking about, you know, jobs and stuff that we could be bringing to the community and stuff like that. That stuff, you know, is, is, is real enough. Yeah, but see, that's word, man. I mean, somebody, you know, got to go, Without a cup of shit, you know. You know, ain't nobody trying to do the Kaepernick move. That's not popular. Ain't nobody trying to get right. paid. People, people get paid while they protest. And the thing that I'm seeing, like, back in the day is they protested because that just, it was just the right thing to do. Yeah. It wasn't about cash, it was about money. It was just about basically uh, trying to make a change. Money. They had to make a change at that time. And, and like, now it's like, well, we don't really have to. We can, we can keep being, you know, the way we are. That's what integration do, because integration made it comfortable for a few. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So now we, we got some people that are doing a little bit better. And so, Uh-oh. you see somebody. Uh oh, you ruffling some, some feathers better. now. You ruffling some oh, feathers. Sorry. We might burn some people up behind this. Uh oh, go ahead. Say what you're saying. Say what you're saying. What I'm saying is that, like, you know, when you have people who actually have the ability to make change, and they should not be. They should be guilty as the ones that actually hold the people in bondage. Mm. Silent. You know what I'm saying? Why? Why? Because they're saying, they sitting up there and saying, well, y'all got yours. I got mine. You said you could, man. No, I'm saying, they. Why, while we doing that, while we out here protesting and stuff, they say, like, all right, well, y'all go ahead. Y'all can protest if y'all want, but I got mine. I ain't about to get out there. And see, that's the wrong, that's the wrong attitude to have. We can't, we can't, we can't, we can't. If, if one of us are lifted and the majority of us are suppressed, that's an issue. And we need to address that issue until we get to the point to where, you know what, we're not going to be happy until everybody has the same, you know, we're talking about, we're not even talking about money, we're talking about basic human rights. You, you don't have the right to say what's on your mind. I mean, that's in the Constitution, but um, it, 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 but uh, the thing about it is, is if they take that away, what next is they gonna go after? Uh, you know, well, and if you know, if they got uh, persuaded by money, see, I, I would expect the man that can't be bought. Because if you can't be bought, you're gonna have integrity and you're gonna have some value. And you can say, well, you know, you know, you, if you if you don't do this here, this might cost you your check. Mm. And then you start seeing people change. I mean, you start to be that it, 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 it's character. That's all it is. Yeah. You know, and you just think of it like you had everybody was put back in the day. Everybody. So it wasn't enough for one or two to make it. That wasn't acceptable by the masses. And I'm just saying, if we the masses, you know, people, you know, our age or whatever, we definitely have got to, you know, speak up. We got to, man, I'm telling you, that's why I try to be time 28. Do you know how crazy a football fan I am? I'm a diehard Patriot fan. And I'm not watching this shit. But it's just like to do it without me. Because well, I just refuse. Yeah, and like you say, we are the masses. That's why they're trying to. That's why they're always trying to have a, a, a separation barrier going on. That's why they're always trying to have a, 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 a separation barrier going on by saying, uh, "Yeah, y- y'all live on such and such side of town, and this side of town, and it's all pretty much the same." Like Houston. Houston is huge, yeah. but they want to separate it so much. That's why kids have such a big rivalry with 
basketball games, football games, you know. You go to you go to another school to play, y'all fighting because oh yeah, we this team this this it's, it's no call for that. Y'all you know what they have those schools strategically placed where they ain't playing the inner city schools. If you go to any major city, right, and you go to the sports coliseum, downtown or whatever, where they have a sports coliseum where they be playing, it's surrounded by the inner city. The 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 have the, the yeah. yeah. and they throughout the art they struggle they struggle they find out and they make it and you know uh, you know you go through the ranks like you you make all this money and then you know you get stripped of your ability to do say something hmm. and I just think the boss is every 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 human being forget man woman man whatever you should have rights. Because when you don't speak the truth, what happens is you you just as guilty. Yeah. But this thing, man. I don't know. But this this protest here is, I you know I don't know I know why they protesting because their kids is uh, committing violence against their other kids. It, it's a it's a part of that uh, that divide and conquer thing. You know, they take all the poor blacks and put them in one community. And they're, of course, everybody gonna fight each other because yeah, nobody yeah. nobody got that. Up north, like in Chicago and New York, where you got a bunch of ghettos. Right. You can't do something off where they take away from. They'll take a very prestigious, like I, I use New York, for example. In Harlem in New York, they have a school called the Avenue. This, this school, it costs you. Fifty, sixty thousand dollars to send your kids there huh. across the street from the school, like up, right across the street, is uh, uh, those 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 ghettos. Uh -huh. And so it's like it's like that. You, you, you know the railroad track that metaphor that you know you can stay over there but you can't cross over. The right. They start embedding that in these kids at very young ages, and so when they grow up, they start feeling like, oh well, I'm gonna be I'm better than you. Right. And then the kids that's on that other side of the like, I want to go to that school. Now, so those are different kids. You know, those are different kind of people. Uh, all of that stuff embedding at young ages and stuff like that. So, um, but, you know, all of that's part of the system. You know, they will probably take too long for us to talk about it. But black men, I love what you're doing, man. Still not that man. Keep, 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 keep pushing these issues, man, because people need to hear this stuff, man. You know, they 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 draw on the radio with the you know the the the, the, the little kids that being separated and that's probably important. Man, these issues that affect them, I want to ain't even talk about. That. Matter of fact, talking about black people killing each other, you know that ain't stop. Yeah. And like, like I was saying, it's like so, they got they got their own time land and trying to rescue the kids. Any any story that's getting away. From, from Black Lives Matter. So, yeah, man, this, you know, I think what you're doing with your show is you you will definitely address these issues, giving a platform for the people. Because at the least, that's creating a grassroots so we can try to figure out what's, how to solve some of these problems. I got all the answers, Black. I'm telling you. But, I got some of them. I got some. See, what they, they doing, they using the guns on the wrong people. Yeah. Why they using the guns on each other? They should. Now, I, I might get some backlash off of this. But well, they you should. You gonna probably get some backlash. They, they should get together and go after them cops that killing people innocently. They, they had a dude. They had a dude at a park. A drunk, two drunk white men at a park. And this girl had a Puerto Rican shirt on. The cop was out there. This dude was walking up to this lady, pointing in her face. You know the cop, she was like, officer, could you get him? He did not move. He didn't budge. He, was a badge. he didn't. He was a bullet with a badge. But see, that's what I told you earlier. No, he wasn't the cop. He wasn't the cop. The cop, the cop was out there. This other guy was just at the park. And he was the killer the cop. Oh, that was white guys. That was all white guys. Oh, the two, yeah. the two white guys was drunk. That's what I'm talking about. That's, the that's, two white guys was drunk. Like the right he team. let her go. He let he let that guy go in that girl face and get close enough to touch her. 
And she was saying, Officer, could you could you tell him not to touch me to he didn't say a word. See, that's what happens when But when the girl out. brother came up, he was like, No, sir, could you stay back? I was like, Won't you look at this right here? Yeah. Also, but just imagine if it would have been the other way around and it would have been a black or uh, Hispanic dude doing a white person like that. That's, that's exactly what she said. That's exactly what she said. She said you know, this would have been a black guy. Right now, so that? Yeah. If this would have I mean, been a black that, guy. That's the thing that's going on is that people, like, I don't know if they think the weakest one smart enough to not know what it's like. We know how to fix it. Yeah, they don't, they don't care. The reality. The reality what you said about them going to the, the cop's house that's doing this and, 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 and pulling out guns on their staff. See, they put my guns on, on black people, but they ain't putting it out on the right ones. They, they kiss one of them brothers that don't care about living or dying. I'm just saying, it's good to see. But see, they're going to go against, you know, they're going to find somebody that's educated, somebody that's driving. Maybe a decent car that, that's talking with some sense. Totally unarmed. And they're going to attack him. Totally unarmed with, we gonna, they going to hit him um, with. Oh, they're going to be unarmed because if you got a, if you got a uh, I think this is true, so don't let me quote it. If I'm wrong, let me know. But I think if you if you have a concealed license, you have to make that aware to that officer and give your, his license with that, give the officer your license with the concealed license. Why are you getting pulled? I think that's what you're supposed to. I think, yeah, you think you're supposed to hand them both if they ask for your license. Let them know that you're registered, right? Yeah. Hand them both together. Because if you don't, when you pull it up and see it, maybe you might come back home right here and let me know. You had your come, step out the court. Now you got a situation. Now somebody's mother is mourning because somebody's did it because, you know, of this stuff. It's not a problem with this stuff. You report this on the news. And you know what? They, about they don't be on They don't be lying whenever they say they're scared for their life. You know why they scared for their life? Cause uh, we should be doing them like they do us. And nah, they and they know, know it. You know why we do? Because we still have some of them remnants from from slaves. Oh man, you know, let's just forgive them. You know, let's pray for them. They don't know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. I, it's I, just that we don't, we not organized enough. We, that's what I say I, I, I love about the fixes, man. They got organized, like they had protests. Who? Some of them, you know. About who? They got a little bit more way out of with it. But who are you talking about? The black people wouldn't take it by any means necessary. If you come after me, I'm going to come after you. And speak the fixes. You see what I'm saying? Because the only reason why people allow it those officers to do that because they respect that authority. They respect that. that. But my thing is when that power is being abused, there has to be a check and balance. If the city isn't gonna do look, the the was built on um um like do like I don't wanna say like do property, but we was built on democracy. And democracy means that the people are in charge. And if if, if the government the government we put them in charge and enforce the laws. If they don't enforce the laws we have the right to overthrow the government because you're a government. Now, whether or not they're going to do that, I don't know. Yeah. I doubt it. That's just my little old two cents, man. I didn't want to chop it up that long. I just want to speak on these, these, these water brown leaders and it on them um, just for a paycheck or a publicity. Oh, they're getting, they getting them checks. Man. Real leaders, leaders that ain't scared to go to jail, leaders who ain't scared to put their life on the line. Because when you accept that position, you gotta go with all that come with that. Oh, they get them checks because if you got a if you got a Catholic preacher out there leading, if you got a Catholic priest out there leading the leading the protest, somebody got that check. Oh, well, you know, but see, you know, I, I am not gonna catch priest at all. I was Catholic, but I want to go back to the old school Catholics when they were chopping people's heads off. Oh. If you're going to be a Catholic, go back and be a 15th century Catholic. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but, but yeah, they, you know, they, they, they check the big clean. And, and when you see people protesting and they say, okay, and, uh, you know, they say, oh, well, we're going to go ahead and 
we won't have, uh, you know, if nobody get up to say that, and everybody, they been, they been lost. You know what I'm saying? And the people, they kind of say, man, look. I'm What's up, Jaquel? We lost you early. You back? <laughs> huh? Did you lose? Hello? No, uh, we lost some. We lost a lot of people earlier. Oh, okay. By taking that shit, somebody else suffers. Well, I guess it's the case. I you sleeping at night? Huh? Some people can sleep real good, man. Oh yeah, they taking they taking them checks and sleeping in them uh, Tempur-Pedic mattresses. They sleeping good. What's up, Jazz? Catch five, run the ball in my. What's up, Jerry? I'm gonna tell you, you can't go black at the end of the day. You can't take none of the wish. Right. Are you here? You know, we all, when we all go, we all gonna have uh, the same kind of grade. You can't take none of the money. So if you've been blessed to where you can empower or uh, somebody else or keep somebody, Early, but if you can teach somebody something, you know, like, you get law enforcement officers out there that's doing the right thing. Y'all step up, speak up, you know, stop this here. Uh, your buddy, get away with it, you know, and you know you're wrong. That's what it be. Anyway, yeah, man, right, man, well, look, man, uh, hey, man, I like what you're doing with the show, man. I'll be there uh, next week. I just had this. Yeah, that old square out of college, man. He's doing his uh, orientation thing. Yeah. Uh, ZJ. He didn't get out to late and then had to get to the store to get some stuff for the night. So I couldn't make it tonight, but you can hold it down, bro. Hold it down. We go hold it down. Yeah. Thank you, man. All right, Zach. Hey, be good out there. Good be good out there. <laughs> All right, bro. All right. Yeah, man, was Zach calling in with a whole bunch of knowledge for us, dropping that stuff, dropping that hot spit, you know. But yeah, man, these people, these so-called leaders, want to lead people on a protest that's peaceful, and they say it's peaceful, but they want to know it's peaceful so they can come in with their guns and they uh and they SWAT teams and they armies and they uh they they military tactics. Why you peaceful, they taking you out, taking you to jail. Don't stop falling for this, man. It, it, it's happening over and over and over and over and over. And pro, the protests ain't really doing nothing. What got what got done? That's what I want to know. What happened? What got done? Did anything get done with the protests? I'm just asking. I just want to know. Do, do it different now. All of that don't work no more. It never really did, and it ain't working now. Oh, I think we got a call. I don't know what happened. No, uh, the phone uh, went off. <laughs> what? No, I'm talking about a protest happening uh, in Chicago. They was protesting on uh, on guns on on guns. Trying to uh, get the guns banned because it's too much gun violence out there. Well, I don't know. I don't. I don't think they work. Nothing's happening with them. The people. The people been protesting for years. What's happening? Guns still out there. There's people getting shot every week at schools, office buildings, um, Waffle House. Kindergarten, middle school, high school, churches. I don't know, man. Ain't nothing happening. Y'all have to do it a little different. Do it a little different. But I ain't about to get out there. Because that's just, you a, you a walking target. What's up, Amp? Yeah, that, that, was, that was probably the only one that worked. Yeah, people have to vote too. Have to vote the right people in, not just go vote 
and don't know who you're voting for, get the right people in, pay pay somebody off to get them there, because that's, that's how it works. If you ain't paying, you losing, pretty much. And our community, the only community that don't know that, everybody else put together funds, and they get it to their people, and they get stuff done right away. Because money talk and the other stuff walks, and y'all know what I'm talking about. And that's the truth. And Super Black said it. <laughs> that's the only way it get done. Got to show that cast or that show. <laughs> oh, yeah. But yeah, Jazz, we had a nice time this weekend. I was talking about it earlier. And we're planning on the, the next one, which is going to be a whole lot better. A whole lot better. This one was good, but next one will be a whole lot better. Shout out to my cousin Michael, Ken Ken, uh, for bringing the little jump, jump machines, jump slides, water slides, jump houses. Shout out to my nephew for holding down on the ones and twos the way he does. Never ever thinking the blues, huh? DJ, I'm good. Yeah, that's his name. DJ, I'm good. And uh, yeah, what else we got? We, I'm about to cut it short. I've been, I've been on here for an hour, y'all. I want to talk about this too. One last story. Cam, gluten free Newton. Him and his longtime girlfriend is on their third baby. That's right, Kim. Don't get married. Don't sign no papers. Do what you do. Have your kids. Make your money. And be happy, man. You got, you've got you been having a girlfriend for, uh, I don't know how long, what? 13, 14 years? How long How long Cam Newton uh, been with his girlfriend? Somebody, somebody probably know out there. But he's... On the third baby, they still girlfriend. They still getting along. They still having fun. He making that money. She ain't complaining. She happy. She dropping them kids. She dropping the luggage off. <laughs> and you don't have to go through the courts and all this other stuff. I seen a, I posted a post the other day. Like you belong to pretty much the government whenever you get married. And I, I, I believe it. now. I mean, there's a lot of stuff with the government anyway. So when I seen that, I was like, it wasn't too far away. It wasn't too far fetched for me. Not for me. But Cam holding it down with his 13, 14 year girlfriend, I guess. I don't know if it was that long. I'm just making up something now. But I, it's been a long time. They got two kids, but they got two and one on the way. So, who? Cam Newton holding the down for his family, him and his family. Cam Gluten Free Newton. He's a weirdo, though. He's a weirdo. That might be why she don't want to marry. <laughs> But nah, nah, you do your thing, Cam. Do your thing. Oh, that last video was hilarious, Jazz. Let me see if I can get you. Bust out that big leg, Jazz, Jazz! Bust out that big leg! <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. But I'm about to get out of here, y'all. It's been good. Hey, thank y'all for tuning in. I was supposed to have some guests, but everybody trying to get it together after all this rain. This rain is messing everybody up. You know, Houston get under water quick when it started raining. It started sprinkling the other day. I was in three feet of water. And then it rained on certain sides of town. Like downtown, it'll be pouring down rain. And we like three blocks away from downtown. It'll be sunshine in over here. People be in shorts and flip flops. You look down the street and you just see it right now. It's in one spot, it don't be moving. But 
Yeah, Houston is crazy like that. So if y'all ever come to Houston, bring shorts, jacket, a coat, an umbrella, uh, and, a, and a parachute. You never know. You never know. So when you come, when you come to visit, be ready. Because if it can happen, it can happen in Houston. And this is Silky Black. And we talk up. It goes like this Monday, 7 o'clock. On the dot. Remember drop top. Cruising the streets. Yeah. But, um. Uh, y'all catch me next time. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for watching. And I think I have an announcement to make or something. Yeah. Nope. I ain't had nothing else. Kitty, you had something else? No. I'm good. He good. This is the thing, y'all. DJ, I'm good. Holding it down on one or two. Oh! Elena Roberts having a walk. In, in a charity walk in, in uh, Port Arthur. Sunday. So y'all can uh, look him up. Get a shirt from him. Come do the walk. I'm going to be out there DJing. Uh, DJ, I'm good, gonna be out there DJing. We're gonna be flying a drone, we're gonna be videoing, we're gonna make it a nice event, we're gonna have fun like we always do. I might get people to lag, get somebody to lag, get a whole bunch of people to buzz out that laugh. So, y'all come check it out right there in Port Arthur. I'm gonna be there, uh, be there, I'll be square. It's my little cousin's charity walk. You're doing the big, you're doing big things out there. And we right there with him. Ain't that right, DJ? I'm good. He good. That's what he say, y'all. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, oh! Uh, maybe. Uh, y'all don't forget the number, right? Put this number in your phone. 713-7147-670. And next time y'all call in. If y'all want to promote something, let me know. Jazz, you never gave me the information to promote whatever you wanted to promote. Uh, anything like that. If y'all want to promote something, let me know. I can chat y'all out. What's up, D? You pop in way later than usual, baby girl. I don't know what's going on with you, but you're supposed to be on top of this, baby. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if y'all want to promote something, let your boy know. Hit me up, 713-714-7670. Or, or you can just inbox me. It don't matter. Get at your boy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. I'll be right here doing the show. This is Talk Up. I'm Silky Black. D! You caught it at the tail end, baby girl. We finna be out of here, baby. DJ Up. DJ I'm Good. Silky Black. And we out.